Hello! Let's take a look at how Acrobat 10 integrates really nicely with Microsoft Office 2010 applications. Here I am in Word 2010, and now that I have Acrobat 10 installed, I see an Acrobat ribbon up here on the toolbar. This gives me the ability to convert to a PDF file with a single click, convert an email a PDF file, or convert a file to PDF and then send it out for a shared document review. I'll see a similar ribbon and similar options in other applications. Here we are in Microsoft PowerPoint and I can see the Acrobat ribbon with some similar commands. Here I am in Excel with the Acrobat ribbon. Outlook 2010 has an Adobe PDF ribbon with some different options there. And if I have Acrobat 10 Pro installed, I'll see the same ribbon with similar options in applications like Project 2010 and Visio 2010. I can also click on the File tab to access the Backstage. And from here with a single click, I can convert my file to an Adobe PDF. Or if I click on Save and Send, I can access the same options to create an Adobe PDF file from this document or send an Adobe PDF file out for shared review. Some applications will have their own integrated capabilities. For example, in Word, I can also run the Mail Merge command, and this will output the result of that Mail Merge to a PDF file for me. I can also import comments from an existing PDF file and bring that into my source document here in Word. Additionally, in some applications such as Word and PowerPoint, I can also embed a Flash movie to then incorporate into the final PDF file automatically. Acrobat 10 makes it simple to create a really good high quality PDF file, but it also gives me powerful controls over that resulting file. By clicking on Preferences here in the Acrobat ribbon, I can access the PDF Maker settings. For example, from here I can specify whether I wish to preserve all the document properties and information from the source office file into the resulting PDF, including any custom properties I may have. From Word, I can specify whether I want to create bookmarks in the resulting PDF automatically. Where do those bookmarks come from? They come from the headings and styles that I incorporate into my Word file, and it will grab the text for those automatically. That's great! I can also preserve links, including, if I go to my Word tab, preserving footnote and endload links from my Word document here. I can also ensure across the Office applications that I tag the PDF for accessibility purposes and for easier reflow when viewing this on a mobile device. I can also incorporate security from my PDF Maker settings here so that my document is protected with a password and or permission settings when I create that PDF file. Now the version of the encryption here that you see is dependent on the version of the PDF file that I create. So how do I set that PDF version? Well let's go back to the settings tab and click on advanced settings and this will bring up my Adobe PDF settings. This gives me some very powerful controls here but for now let's just go ahead and change this over to be compatible with the latest version of the ISO PDF specification, which is 1.7. Now, depending on the application, I'll see different settings here. So let's go ahead and click over to PowerPoint and take a look at the preferences there. And you'll see I have different application settings for this particular application. And from PowerPoint files, I can do things such as preserve the transitions between the slides so that when I view the PDF file full screen in Acrobat or Reader, I'll see the same transitions. And I can also convert the speaker notes that are in my PowerPoint file into sticky notes in the resulting PDF ensuring that I'm preserving as much of the original information as possible and doing less work when I get to Acrobat. Now if we return back to Microsoft Word, we'll go ahead and click on the Create PDF button here. And as well as being able to specify what name and where to save the resulting PDF file, I can click on Options here and I'll get through to some similar settings that you saw a moment ago in the PDF Maker settings. Just another quick, easy way to be able to control how your PDF appears and works. So we'll click OK, and we'll go ahead and click Save. And in just a moment, we'll have a high-quality PDF file that not only looks like the original, 
but preserves a lot of the original information too. For example, we'll go to the document properties and we'll see how we've preserved all the original properties from Microsoft Word, including any custom metadata that may be included. You'll find similar capabilities in Office 2007 too. Thanks very much for watching.